So this is the Hartman Education Center. This is where we typically host uh, school groups who are doing art projects on site. So if this was a normal summer for us, we would have this place full of children doing art projects as part of the SMART Colony Camp. Oh, I, I should restate that. Usually it's the Art Colony Camp this year. It's the Smart Colony Camp <laughs> because we moved yeah. it online. So oh, already, excellent. I'm already geared towards excellent. that. So everything is virtual this year, but Stan, realizing that these kind of workshop spaces are really common in museums and studios where we're reusing garments uh, for smocks to cover clothing. We usually have our stools around each of these tables and we have kids working. Like many other museums, as I said, we've gone virtual this season, but is this when we consider how to be able to use this space again? Is it down to the spacing? Is it just something we should suspend until we're at a different phase with this? What, what are your thoughts for those of us who have these kind of workshop spaces? At the risk of uh, being uh, a broken record, uh, we think about the fundamentals. We think about the degree to which this is quasi outdoors. We think about um, hand and face uh, hygiene, which also includes inanimate objects, uh, you know, and then we think about the distancing and the mask use. So um, depending on the age of the children, mask use can be more or less difficult. A little more maturity, a little more likely that they will adhere the little kids might forget. Uh, so with masks, we love designer masks with the cartoon characters that the kids would get a kick out of wearing. And who knows if the, if the uh, art museum itself could think about a purchase of masks for children, different ages, that would be especially appealing for their use. So part of the art experience would be this nifty mask that they were given. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, was part of their art fee or however you manage the finances. Uh, it's not unreasonable to ask people to bring their own smocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for the time being, you retire the, the shared smocks until we're kind of back to normal. Mm -hmm. And when people are bringing their own smocks, you can, you can guide them and say, look, dad's old long sleeve shirt is fine. They don't have to go out and buy a, 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 an expensive uh, a smock. They can use uh, essentially any uh, clothing piece that can be sacrificed to the art gods uh, <laughs> and uh, can be soiled with paint or, or the like. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the number of people in here, that's where you're most constrained because you might have been perfectly happy to have uh, a uh, pretty big crowd that could be accommodated. Now perhaps you would like to move some of this back, open up the space, maybe put another table in here, but keep the tables uh, uh, phys permitting physical distancing. Mm -hmm. You might migrate uh, some of the work outdoors. So now you've got a table out there, you've got a table out there, you've got a table out here, and you are accommodating almost the same number of kids you did before, but in a very different mentality. That's inconveniencing the teacher a bit, because now we're talking about projecting that way, this way, that way. Could you have a little bit of a sound engineering strategy where you know, a lavalier mic and a couple of, of uh, 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 speakers mm -hmm. uh, enable you to communicate with, a, with the same number of people but spread out? Uh, I, I think the principles don't change. Uh, there is one piece around an art environment that you'll have to think about. We always share the colored pencils. We always share the, the, the uh, brushes. Why not? I mean, it saves money. It saves a lot of money. Could we consider having each child with their own brushes and pencils? Mm -hmm. Just to minimize the number of kids who are touching common items. You've got items that cannot be shared because of high cost. Then we can rely on cleansing between use. Mm -hmm. And these are some strategies I think many of our public school art teachers are going to, that things that they used to share, they're going to be asking people to purchase uh, so each child has his or her own uh, uh, unit. Now, when uh, we're, we're dealing with persons from low-income backgrounds, we don't want to set up a barrier. So we're hoping that our generous patrons of our art museums might 
might help us, uh, you know, and of our schools might help us with what would be a modest investment mm -hmm. for, for brushes and pencils uh, that the kids could then keep and, and it might even foster their interest by, by incentivizing them to do the art at home. So it could be a win-win. <laughs> that's great, Stan. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's really helpful. Fantastic. So in a space like this, like I noticed there's a restroom here. Should we be um, treating that like one of the restrooms that we found there or do we need to send them out of the, out of the space? Have you guys thought about how you're going to use that? So we typically use it for the art projects and for the kids. Okay. So if, you know, the kids need to wash their hands, which is common anyway yeah, after right. doing the that's art projects, saying. that's typically the restroom used for that. We tend to not use this. There we go. Oh, right. And we tend to not use this area as much for public restrooms, uh, but yeah. more for staff and for the kids who may be in All here. Right. Well, you didn't do it for COVID reasons, but... Uh, you absolutely uh, do well with this kind of hand washing device where you uh, can literally press it on your foot and wash your hands. I'm punching nothing and I'm washing my hands. So this is, the, we can rename this, you know, the COVID hand washing station. And, uh, that would be the naming opportunity. That's it, there you go, there you go. That's right, we look for our naming opportunities. But th th this is, uh, by accident and by good fortune, just about ideal for hand washing. In terms of the restroom, of course, heavy usage, perhaps stepping up the, the, the cleansing of the restroom a bit mm -hmm. uh, so that one could wipe down the, the counters uh, between every, I don't know, fifth Same use or something like that. And it, 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 if one has a, uh, the ability to have a volunteer who appreciates the importance of doing something like that, they might be helpful in that regard. 